All right, we've got some company news here. Grocery delivery app Instacart filing to go public. The latest sign the IPO market is starting to thaw. Yahoo Finance's Brooke De Palma is here with the details. Brooke? Good afternoon, Diane. I mean, this is pretty exciting. The it IPO is. market seems to be making a comeback here. Instacart, the latest company to file its plans to go public on the NASDAQ under the symbol C-A-R-T, CART. Taking a closer look at the numbers, the company began generating profit at the end of 2022 after be, uh, 2022 is right after being unprofitable in 2020 and 2021. The company said that was driven by diversified revenue streams, including growth in their ad business. Today, the company has more than 5,500 brands using Instacart ads. That includes up and coming names like the prebiotic soda Poppy, as well as Jennifer Garner's business Once Upon a Farm, both highlighted in the S1 filing. Another interesting part of the S1 filing here is that PepsiCo plans to buy $175 million in convertible preferred stock. The company, however, did not disclose the total price and size of the IPO. But we do know that back in 2022, uh, Instacart did, in fact, cut its valuation three times or reported $13 billion. Now, the CEO said that they're focused on the long-term vision to power the future of grocery through technology, and when you, technology that is. And when you think about the scope of Instacart. It is the biggest U.S. online grocery delivery company. They have 7.7 7 million monthly active orderers who spend approximately $317 a month on average. They also have more than 1,400 national, regional, and local retailers that use um, Instacart. In addition to that, this, this company really came, you know, uh, to consumers and Wall Street and Main Street's mind during the pandemic when momentum certainly picked up. We saw gross transactions jump 300 percent between 2019 and 2020, but it's now getting more steady from 2020 to 2021. Gross transaction value jumped 20 percent. That then decreased the following year. But something worth noting here is that while orders increased in 2021 and 2022, they did remain consistent from both 2022 to 2023. And so that consistency uh, is interesting there after such a large ramp up during the pandemic. But for some of its in-store partners, they highlighted regional retailers like Publix and Wegmans. They did say that what they see with users on Instacart is that they are ordering more than in store. And so lots more to come on Instacart, potentially going public or filing to go public. That is as it makes its public debut. And we'll be watching all of it. All right, Brooke De Palma, Thank the you, latest in the Instacart and the IPO craze. Well, not craze yet, but right. coming back well, out of we, the woods. What we saw with Kava, I mean, yes. they, they were valued at $4.8 billion. So this really could be the rumbling of a comeback in the market. That's right. There we go. Brooke De Palma.